Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today's review wasn't an easy review, but since we're now at the end of 2020, um, it's tradition to sum up the reviews I've done over the year. Now, this year I reviewed quite a few mouse to long RTAs that that's really my main uh, style of vaping, mouth-to-long RTA and naturally extracted tobaccos. Um, nevertheless, I did review um, director RTA, director long, uh, RDAs, RDTAs, and various other vaping gear over the year. So what I'm gonna try to do in this review is to do them in sections. So we'll start with mouth to long RTA, that that's the most uh, I would like to talk about. And then we'll go down the stages until we come to naturally extracted tobacco. So if you see in the sections pausing, it's simply I have to pause, clear my desk and go to the section subject. Otherwise, I'll just get confused <laughs> and it's not going to work out. I do apologize in advance if this review will take a bit longer, but as you know, if you've been following my channel, you know that I like to be thorough with my reviews, and i rather have a longer review with more information, and then you have a choice to either pause and watch later or, re or fast forward. So you have that option instead of me making it very fast just to get it done and done with, and then you don't have the option to see the old information. That's my motto of doing things. I'm, I try to be quite thorough in what I do. Now, as you know, if you follow my channel, most of the gear I buy myself. And before I buy, I do quite a lot of research uh, as best as I can. And then I use it and then I give you my, my, my point of view on it. Now, some items I received as a gift, some items I received from, from vendors who sent it to me for review. But even those who bought it to me, they know me, they know my style, and they bought it according to my preference. They know I would enjoy it. And the ones I got from the companies, I did give it a bit of, um, I used it to see what it's like. Some things I didn't review, some things, the things I did like, the items I did like, I obviously reviewed. So I couldn't fairly honestly say that all the gear that I reviewed are good. Um, some are a bit better, some a bit less. But overall, if any item is mentioned in this review and you have it, you can be rest assured that you've got a good item. Is it a mouse to long RTA, is it an RDA, RDA, whatever it is, if it's mentioned in this review, it means it's good. Now, the most complicated section of this review is the mouth to long RTAs. I will give you an example. In 2019, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, KFON Prime was number one. Steam Crave Glass Mini um, was as number one B. Um, I've got them all here just to show you in passing. Um, so obviously my Prime, KFON Prime, that is considered to me one of the best of 2019 and 2020, yeah? Top tank. And the Glass Mini, um, the Steam Crave Glass Mini, now some tanks you will see there is no liquid in it because I have to re-wick or recoil or something like that, but they're all in more or less constant use. So the Glass Mini came very close to my number one, the Prime, even though this is half price. This is a top mouth to long RTA, but this was 2019. I'm just giving you notes so that I guess you could uh, follow my way of looking at my RTA's mouth to long today. Right, and then the, the third one, the second one was the vape, the Bronhilda, the vape fly Bronhilda. Now, this is more an RDTA. Um, so, we're going to talk about this tank in the RDTA section. And then I had the EH Pro True Tank. 
uh, by Nature Vape and EH Pro. Now this is one of my best mouth to long RTEs in budget. Uh, the airflow is superb here. I mean, this was a benchmark until a bit higher grade tanks came along like the Sputnik and the new k Light Lite um, Aerocon. But this was for a long time the best mouth to long draw one can get on a tank and the flavor is superb, very easy to build, very easy to coil. But this was my 2019. So when it came to 2020, um, we had a problem because so many good mouth to long RTEs came on the market and I felt a, a difficult to categorize them in number one, number two, number three, number four, and so forth. Um, in 2020, all the mouse to long RTEs, the new ones, the flavor is more or less the same. Some of them have got a bit of an edge over the other, but the flavor we're talking about, let's say from nine, one to ten, all of them are above eight. Uh, between the 8 and 10 is a very small margin. So in order for me to decide on what gets a higher grade is the overall um, build quality. Easy to coil, easy to wick. Does it have a problem with wicking a lot? Does it have a problem with leaking? Uh, build quality and so forth. So that made sort of narrow down a bit. So what you're going to see really is the top three or four, because I, I, I couldn't put them all into the threes, is that RTA's mouse too long that I use most and I'm super happy with them. Then you're coming to no less uh, quality, but a, a, I'll use them a bit less, not because they're less good, it's just because the other one's just a bit better. <laughs> This is the best way I can put it. Um, all the RTS mouth to long that I'm going to review, I'm going to pass and review today. You can watch the full review on my channel. So if anything grabs your attention, you can always go onto my channel, look at the playlist on the RTA mouth to long or the latest uploads, and you can find it in the channel and see the full review on that tank. Okay, so with that said, so let's start now with my top three to four mouth to long RTAs. Now, up until lately, my KFON Light. Now, this is KFON Light 2019. I know 2019, but since I reviewed it on January 20, plus in here you've got the the new Aerocon pin. Now you can watch my review. I we're not going to put links because then I will, you'll get links every five seconds. So you can find that this is the new pin on this tank. Um, therefore, I'm categorizing it as the t as a 2020 mouse to long RTA. Although they categorize the plus as a 2021. Um, this tank was for me uh, no, uh, nearly no better. I mean, especially now with this pin, the airflow, the flavor, the it's just uh, it's just uh, hard to beat. Until this came along, the Sputnik Sputnik Mouse to Long RTA, that is, in my mind, one of the best Mouse to Long RTAs one can pay for. There is a few more that I haven't got my hands on for this year. Hopefully, twenty one. I will be able to get my hands on, but that will be already 21. And one of them is a tank that you're going to have to wait for that till I get it. I'm waiting for it for already over two weeks. Um, that is meant to be something else, but that is a different subject. Um, for now, as we're standing today at tomorrow, I wonder today is the 30th of the 12th. So I'm finalizing today this review, uh, my best of 2020. This is, in my mind, one of the best mouth to long RTA money can buy. 
in flavor in airflow with a 1.2 pin you can watch my review on it uh, 1.2 plate um, build quality uh, e-liquid capacity looks this is in my mind one of the best mouth to long RTEs you can find equal to it is the Kfon Prime uh, Kfon Lite 2019 I will put it in the same category in quality in all aspects now going I wouldn't say further down going to a different style a bit less high end in price but not nevertheless high end in quality and that must go to the Pioneer by BP Mods now this tank I use it daily the flavor the draw build quality is lesser than the two I'm just mentioned but everything else is just superb mouse to long RTE but there is one thing you need to know how to wick it right and I uploaded a review how to wick it right if you do it my way I never have no leaks I don't have no issues the flavor is perfect it wicks like a champ never had a burnt flavor it's just a perfect mouth to long RTE and within budget now the next one down is the Expromiser V4 not that it's less good of the Pioneer um, I would categorize this as one of the best mouth along RTAs that you would not have to break the piggy bank to get this the quality of this tank is superb the juice flow the airflow the build quality the flavor the draw and the easiness of sorting out your mouth to long is superb mouth to long RTA and I would give this I'll put I have to put numbers um, well I don't know if the end result when you look below if I put numbers or in groups so this will go in the same group as the Pioneer although this is better quality than the Pioneer but the flavor of the Pioneer is it's just perfect this flavor of the Expromiser is perfect as well I, I have a f hard job to tell you which one is better um, very hard job to tell you so either you get them both or if you get either you'll be happy that's all that's the best I can come with come up with but the build quality on this I think will last longer than Pioneer um, flavor I think they're equal um, mouth to long draw equal just I don't know why I seem to find myself vaping the Pioneer a bit more than the Expromiser V4 lately maybe because I've had it before quite a while so this is still new to me I don't know the best I can tell you is if you get either you'll be very happy now those these are the um, top well it's four tanks but it's really in three so yeah so these are this is the first group that the tanks have been using constantly and super super happy with them now we're going down to a a category where there are superb mouth to long RTEs um, in all aspects in, in, in flavor in ease of wicking and coiling but they have a bit of issues with them and when, and when I talk to you about the tank I will tell you the issues okay so the next one down is the Artemist now the Artemist the Artem Artemis by Kostulu would have easily got into the top three easily 
But the problem with this tank is the reverse threading. And this is a major problem for those who are not concentrated when they assemble the tank. And none of us is perfect. So on occasion, you're in a rush, you do it up quickly, and you end up unscrewing the wrong compartment, and you get either the juice leaking down or you open the deck. If not for that, this would have got into the, my group of the top three, four. Um, the flavor on this is superb, um, amazing flavor. The airflow is top. The build quality is excellent. The mouthpiece, either you use this one or the long metal one that is a bit dangerous to your teeth, may I, may I add. The quirky look of this tank looks perfect on my side-by-side -side from Ambition Mods. It is just a perfect mouth to lung RTA except for the reverse threading. So if you don't mind that, this is one of your best options to buy within reason of price. Uh, excellent mouth long RTA. Now, the next one down is something that I received from uh, Orgvape. But I must tell you, this tank is one of the best mouth to long RTA you can find for mid budget. Not only the flavor and the airflow, the, e the, the ease of it, it's so easy. To, to use it from the wicking is very forgiving. The kefons are very forgiving on wicking. And those are the only ones. I mean, the, um, the um, Sputnik is not so forgiving. You have to know how to wick. It's not difficult. You just have to do it. Less cotton is more in this type of tank. And the Pioneer, more is better than less. Yes, so everyone has his method. And it takes time to learn which best goes for what. But this tank, I was thinking of buying the Nevermore from Unicorn. And I met someone who has it. And this tank, um, the intake, is the exact copy of that tank. In flow, in flavor, in ease of build, forgiving on the wicking. Altogether, this is a perfect mouth-to-lung RTA. So I was thinking to buy the Nevermore. I think that's what it's called from Unicorn Vapes. Um, but then I vaped this one next to the Nevermore that the guy had. And I said, it's exactly the same, exactly the same. Even looks similar. Um, so we'll see, maybe in 21, I will, we'll see. Depends what else comes along. But this tank is very recommended for anyone who's looking for a mouth to long RTA. This is a perfect mouth to long RTA. Now, I'm not saying this is better than the ones I just mentioned. I'm just because I can't categorize them. Otherwise, I'll have my top 10 and it doesn't make sense. So this is in the second group that are perfect mouth to long RTA budget price. Excellent. I know one of you is going to ask, is it better than the Pioneer? Well, it's definitely easier to live with the Pioneer and the flavor of these tanks are minutely less than the ones that I put on the top. And when you talk about money, if I vape these two together, I've got different juices. So this is uh, a mental mental uh, natural extracted from best sig liquid that i have to still re i reviewed but i haven't uploaded it it's very good very similar to the solo of black note and in here i've got one of um, drake's the mild kentucky so it's different flavors but the flavor on this one is very less minutely less than the pioneer in my in my opinion but the overall package of this one is a lot easier than the Pioneer, unless you learn, learn how to wick it right. I now can do it in my sleep. But until you come to that stage that you got your perfect wicking, this is perfect. Okay, I don't want this review to take too long. So I'm going to try and not to talk too much about each one. But since I'm a really a mouth to long RTA vapor, 
So I'll put more time on the mouse to long RTAs than the other sections that I will rev go down further down. So hopefully in the end this review wouldn't take too long. But if yes, you could always have a pause, have a coffee and come back. Um, the next one down is the Reload and the Pandora. Now the Reload, those who you see empty, it doesn't mean I'm not using it. It's some, uh, I just now uh, re-wicked it yesterday. So it's all ready for me to go. The reload, the quality of the reload is superb. The build quality, the airflow, although it's got a bit of different style airflow, you have to lift this, yeah. You turn the top bit and you lift it and turn. It's sort of, yeah. You can watch my review on it. The flavor from this is perfect. The airflow is perfect. The build quality is perfect. It is a very nice mouth to long RTA that I use it all the time and exactly the same the Pandora a bit lesser quality build quality a bit more prone to leaks uh, and you can do the wicking perfect on this but the minute you open the tank to add liquid you sometimes get a leak through the airflow but I learned to live with it and ignore it because I enjoy this tank I enjoy the airflow the airflow is very versatile. I mean, you can watch my review on this one. The build quality is okay, but the flavor is superb. And you have got the Kennedy coffee nat naturally extracted tobacco from Juice Cabin. And the flavor from this is perfect. The mod we'll talk about when it comes to a section of the single 18650 mods. So I would categorize the reload in a bit over the Pandora just for the build quality, but very similar in flavor and airflow. Although this is so much more configured, but you can still get a perfect mouse to long in this one. Now, the, the, the last one, um, not the last one, I've got the Galaxy mouse to long RTA this is a very easy tank to live with as well the flavor is superb the airflow is fairly highly configured as you got the wheels here to turn yeah the numbers if you can watch my review on this um in here i've got one of lata bakaria's uh, natural extractors i use in the mornings smoky delicious this is the english mixture in here delicious vape uh, this tank is superb, M very, you can get them now, very reasonable prices. Um, yep, very nice mouth to long RTA, the Galaxies. If you ask me which is better, the ones I mentioned up to now, the Galaxy is a very traditional mouth to long RTA, no, f no whist whistles and bells, it's just a good solid mouth to long RTA yeah now the cog mouth to long RTA the cog I was debating if I should put it in my top five the fact that I mentioned it now is not because this is not a good mouth to long RTA in my opinion this mouth to long RTA is one of the top of 2020 the reason why I mentioned it now is simply the build quality is not great and the airflow for me it's perfect but I know a lot of vapors who will say that this is not a proper mouse too long. Now when you say proper mouse too long it can be tight as a cigarette or it can be a bit looser everyone has got their preference for me it's perfect. So I will categorize this in the same category as the reload and the Pandora and and the intake but the intake overall is much better quality in flavor wise it will be the same but in quality it's a bit lesser and it will come to the, my last tank in the mouth to long RTA for 2020 is the MD by Hellvape Am I, am I correct? I think so, yes. Yep, MDL. Uh, just make sure. 
Um, there's so many mouths to long RTAs, and I'm not good at names in the best of times. Yeah, I'll rip. Now, the MD is superb flavor. Superb flavor. The problem with the MD is the leaking. In here, I've got a very nice naturally extracted tobacco from Drake's Fusion Whiskey. Superb tank. The problem is that the minute that you open this top deck, top cap, to put in your liquid, you, if you don't open your deck uh, or put in the liquid like I do my K phone light upside down, yeah, into the chimney, you know, into the glass cavity between to the tank, basically upside down, or if I open the deck when this tank is full, I turn it upside down, open the deck and close it to reseal the, the vacuum, you will get leaks nonstop. So much so that my wife told me, please do not use this tank and put it in your shirt. I've changed so many shirts from the leaks of this tank that I hardly, now it's okay because I just re-wicked it and filled it up the juice. As soon as I come below, I have to give it a few hours to sit to see if there's any leaks. If there's no leaks, then there's no problem. If there is leaks, I, change. I don't put it in my pocket without looking at it first and without knowing how long has this been done. So this and the cog are very similar in flavor profile. The build quality on the MD and this is very similar to this. This has got leaks and this has got a problem with the airflow that is not as tight as some people might think or, or might want. And the build quality of this is a bit uh, inferior. This is my list for, did I miss anything? Yeah. Oh, one minute. I forgot last but not least. The Enikin Eris version two. I should have mentioned this. The fact that I mentioned this now last is a mistake of mine. I should have mentioned it much higher in the beginning of this section. Um, this is one of the best mouth to lung RTAs in all aspects. The only reason that it didn't get top notch is because this knocked it off. I was debating which one is better, the intake or the Aries. <laughs> Let me put it this way. The Aries version 2 is the best option including this one. These two RTAs are the best option for anyone who wants to upgrade from a stock coil mouth to long tank and to try RTAs for the first time. This is, these two are the best option for them to start off. And then you can go to the more complex RTAs I mentioned, like the, uh, like the, the um, um, for a minute my mind went blank, um, Artemis, yeah, and the Pioneer, because those need a bit more of a delicate hand and a bit of knowledge in how to wick. But these two are, maybe I'll categorize them. When you see this review and you look below, maybe I'll categorize this as the two best upgrades from stock oil to mouse to, to RTA. Now, any of, if you have any of these tanks that I just mentioned, you should know you have a good mouth to long RTA, except for the MD that is prone to leak. If you master the way how to stop this leaking, the way I do, by turning it upside, the whole procedure, then you'll be very happy. With any of these tanks that I just mentioned, they're all very nice mouth to long RTAs. The best way to categorize them is the way I've done it up to now. I think is the fairest and the most sensible way. I couldn't find any better way of categorizing my best of 2020 when it came to the mouse along RTA, which I am mostly vape all day long. So this is a 30 minutes start off for this review. Hopefully in the next section, it will go much faster. So I'll pause now clear my desk, 
get the next section and we'll start all over again. Okay, for you it'll be just one second. Right, so now we're going to the second, second section, uh, best direct to long RTE. Now, those are used for fruit uh, or dessert in the evenings. So the first section, the mouth to long RTE, I use only with tobacco. And that is my main all day vape. Right, so now we're going to go much faster down the road here with the best direct along <coughs> RTA. Now, the best one in my mind, what I've got, what I reviewed, obviously in the market there is loads more, but I didn't review everything. Um, I'm not a reviewer that reviews everything that comes out in the market. Um, I review only things that I want to buy or, yeah. So, the Zeus RTA is one of the best RTAs in liquid in liquid capacity in flavor in draw it's a very nice direct to long RTA um, the only thing is you have to know is if you don't get this chimney right yeah this inner chimney um, the best way to do it is you put it in and then this is freshly wicked I'm gonna put in some juice soon and then you find your way till it starts threading and then you know you got to write then you wouldn't have no leaks at all so the zeus came by me number one the second one is a much more expensive and it's uh, the ha i didn't talk about this on the mouth to long rtas because this is not a mouth to long rta even with the drip tip the mouth to long drip tip and even if you put a, um, a mouse to long coil in it, it will have problems with the juice flow, with the um, leaks. It needs a beefy coil and it needs a lot of cotton in order to work the way it should. And as a direct to long RTA, it is perfect. I've got in here a 0 0.3 oh, uh, z um, a 0 0.33 ohm, I think a 0 0.3 ohm, I can't because it's on my mech mod. I think it's a 0 0.3 ohm um, uh, fuse clapton, 3 millimeter diameter, loads of wick. It's a restrictive direct along, but it's a lovely restrictive direct along. Um, and it's perfect you got the airflow yeah you can watch my review i've got a very long review on this one <laughs> nearly as long as can it be today um and i think to myself why did i take so long to review this because it's very expensive and i wanted to go through the various parts slowly and carefully but this is not a mouse to long rta no you're gonna have problems with leaking this is a direct to long The flavor is just superb. Okay, the next one down is the Destiny. Um, the Destiny by Hellvape. Very nice tank. RTA, very similar, similar to 2019 that I reviewed best RTA direct along was the Kelpie. Uh, it's a very similar tank very similar mechanism i think the kelpie is a bit better if you ask me uh, but this was 2019. i don't want to start i don't want to start vaping all these over nick myself and also the gear last year i i reviewed i still use it all the time perfect little compact uh, direct along rta and very similar draw to the ha on the gear but um, yeah so that was 2019 that's those two so the destiny is number three now the fourth one that i haven't reviewed it i reviewed it but i didn't upload it now this will come to you as a bit of a shock this is a pod pod rta from um vupu uh, in the beginning i was quite skeptical about it but then i put in a very nice coil you'll watch my review hopefully it'll be uploaded in the next week in the beginning of january i'm very very surprised on this quality of this rta <coughs> sorry very surprised very 
very good flavor, very easy to wick and to coil. Never had a problem, never had a leak, it's bone dry, um, very versatile. You watch my review on it, I don't want to talk too much about it. I did a nice review on it, hopefully it's nice. Um, but this came to me, this came as number four. Yeah, there's no number three. By me, it's what's best, categorize them down. Right, so this is the end of section. Best direct along RTAs that I reviewed this year. Next section will be best RDA. Give me one second. Okay, so now we're coming to the category where I, I used the least, and those are RDAs. Now, when it comes to RDAs, um, this year I haven't got no doubt, and it will go straight to um, the Nest RDA by Nature Vape. Yeah. And what was the name? I can't remember the name of the other uh, the manufacturer of it. One minute, we'll have a look at the base. But you can watch my review. Eris Vapor. Um, the reason why, look, I don't use so much RDAs. Yeah, uh, I mainly RTA. I don't like carrying with me the juice. The reason why this got by me number one is the innovation of it. And it's a mesh coil. The flavor from here is phenomenal. Phenomenal. I mean, I'll give you an example. In 2019, uh, the GOAT RDA yeah, um, came by me, I think, as number one. Uh, no, last year was number two, the Hell Vape Dead Rabbit. Uh, yeah, the Hell Vape Dead Rabbit was last year. Uh, and the GOAT because the only reason why I didn't give the GOAT number one because there's no suction, as it's, it's a squonker, but there's no suction back. That's a big problem because it's a lot of times overflow. But as flavor goes, this is one of the top RDAs flavor-wise. I test, I review my fruit and dessert liquids on this tank. The nest is just as good and you can dump in juice in here as without leaking. The flavor is superb, easy to, to do. I mean, it takes me minutes to clean this coil and use it again and again. And just cotton is wasted a bit, okay, but cotton is cheap. Just superb, superb flavor. So this came to me as number one, the nest. Well done, Nature Vape, for that. The second one is a tank that I received from uh, from Orgvape, and this is called the Druga 2. Um, let me put it on the mod, just I can open it and just show you what I mean. Some people are big, um, they don't like these big posts because you can't screw it with your hands or you need a proper screwdriver. But I found that it's a power powerhouse of an RDA. Um, the flavor is just burst in your mouth. I mean, superb, superb tank. Um, and you can put in there very nice coils as well, very um, fancy coils. The last one is, I don't know if you guys heard of it so much. It's called Variant RDA by Dovpo. Um, I just love this RDA. Um, I know there's so many RDAs. I'm getting in one in the post next in two weeks. I'll review it for 2021. Superb RDA. Uh, but for now, it's what I've got. I, I, it's such an easy way to just put in your coils. You can watch my review on it. And to, it's a superb, superb. And the cap is so easy to put on. The, the the juice flow is the um, airflow is perfect you have so many options to close the two bottom one the two top one the one is it's a very nice rda and it's called the variant rda by dovpo so that is the section of my rda for this year i know it's not a lot um but this is what i've got Okay, the next one down is, um, I'm going to have to pause because this is the end of this section. In two seconds, I'll come back. I hope it's not very annoying, 
but it's the only way I can do it in order I shouldn't get confused with all the gear that's in front of me. So give me a second. Right, so this section is a very short section because I only have got one and this is a mouse to long RDA and it has to go to the Tokamak by um, Unicorn Vapes mouse to long RDA superb mouse to long RDA. I, last year this came to me at the Amos mouse to long RDA that I use very often and you can see most of my reviews on the tobacco liquids was done with this RDA and it will still be I love this one. The only problem is with opening and closing the cap is sometimes a bit difficult. Here the problem is the, 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 the throat hit is massive because it's an RDA and the flow just hits the coil and then narrows down to a mouse too long and it hits you with full force and it condenses the flavor in such a way that you get a massive throat hit. That's why I keep it on the largest airflow. Um, yep, so this came, this is my only this year, mouse to long RDA, I don't need much of them, I use them mainly to review liquids, so that's that section. Now, best uh, mouse to long, direct to long, RDTA. The reason why I said mouse to long and direct to long is because the, um, I don't have so many of those either, and this vape fly, although... <coughs> One minute. Although I reviewed it in 2019, but it's still my daily vape. In here I've got Drake's Coffee. I vape this every morning. Among my other bold and spicy tobaccos, this is a very good direct mouse to long rdta rta stroke because you haven't got wick going down you got these metal poles you can watch my review on it metal steels this is i i don't think you can find a much better mouse to long rdta the 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 um, Bronhilda by vapefly and the german 103 team delicious the next one down is a very sweet little compact uh, tank that I reviewed the Aston by Aston Vape. Aston Vapes, I think it's called. Um, this is a not a mouse too long. I tried to use it as a mouse too long, never worked. It was too hot, the, 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 the vape. And the airflow I had to close nearly fully, it wasn't right. This is a direct to long, although restricted, but lovely direct to long. And the flavor, spot on, spot on. It's a lovely little, if you're looking for a compact, I know you've got from Steam Crave RDTAs, you've got quite a lot of RDTAs out there, the Widowmaker, all sorts of RDTAs, but I've got, I, re I reviewed this year, that's what this review is summing up. As I said, I don't have everything. Uh, I've got more mouse to long RTAs, but this is not so much I use so much. Uh, I use these more than RDAs because obviously you've got the liquid in here. But anyone who has a problem with wicking and you know doesn't like this, RDTA is the perfect answer for direct to long. Lovely, lovely tank. All these items, you can watch my review. Um, on my channel now best um, I'm gonna have to pause again I'm so sorry right so now we're gonna talk about best mechanical mod um, mechanical mod well I only got one the dreamer version 1.5 you can watch my review I love this this is beautiful elegant works well you just have to follow the ohm's law and the battery safety and all the rest of it but as it goes it is a stunning i use it with the ha lovely lovely mech mod this is the only one i have I'm, i've got a few more in the pipeline hopefully in 2021 i shall review those but as it goes for this year 
Last year, I reviewed a, um, a semi-mechanical mod from Kosulu that had a chip in it, the MOSFET, MOSFET, MOSFET chip, but that wasn't a fully mechanical. This is a fully mechanical hybrid, and I just love it. And look how nice it looks with the ha. Um, I use many tanks on it, but um, very nice. Right, next one down is best Sobom tank forward slash pod. Um, I think the number one will go to the Drag X by Vupu. Um, the sheer flavor that you get from these coils, the sheer, um, the lovely airflow of configuration, the fact that you can put it on a base and put it on your on any f on any mod this is in my book the future and you can see already how a lot of pod mods coming up with this type of idea it's just a delicious flavor i was getting fed up of changing coils all the time that's why i went and i bought myself this the art that, that i spoke about it before the rta the RTA from Vupu, yeah, the PNP RTA, that's the reason why I changed it, because the coils don't last very long. They're very good coils, you get a few options of coils, you can watch my review on this tank. Um, this one is a 0 0.2 ohm coil, and you get another one, I think a 0. Point, um, I can't remember which one it was. But um, you can watch my review, this is a very nice direct to long sub -ohm tank. The next one goes to the wire rice. The innovation of changing your coils, you can watch my review on this tank, the juice capacity, the quality of flavor, the, the only difference why this got number two, because look at the difference in size, and this is no less flavor, so that's why I said this is the future. But this is a top sub -ohm tank. Now, last year, I reviewed in this category um, sub -ohm tank. I had the EH Pro Raptor that I still use very often. Very good tank. Also similar size to the Rai Rice. And uh, Crown 4. Now you've got already Crown 5. D very good coils, very good tank. But that is 2019. I still use them. Um, but for 2020, is the wire rice as a sub -ohm tank, uh, you can't go wrong with such a tank. Delicious flavor. The coils last you fairly long, but I'm not so much a sub -ohm tank these days. So I can't tell you how long, but when I had the coil in here, it lasted me for two weeks, three weeks. Although I didn't vape it, the coil just drops out from here. You can watch my review on this one. It's a very nice sub -ohm tank. Okay, the next one down is the best starter kit, all-in-one kit. So here I had a bit of a problem how to categorize them. And also the reviews I've done on those uh, devices, I've already given over to those who asked me to review it. Because it's for new smokers who want to start vaping and they chose those and they asked me to review it for the benefit of themselves, the benefit of others. So I've given them already away. So you got the Indican Skepta. It was a stunning all-in-one mouth-to-long starter kit. The coils are excellent. Um, the the airflow is perfect and it looks beautiful. It's You can watch my review on that one. The Vaporesso X-Ross and the Caliburn G, both I think I'll categorize as equal and those as well I've given uh, out. And the Spire Natalis GT, that is a full kit with the, with a mod. Beautiful Tafon design, very high-end looking, very nice Aspire coils. We all know the Aspire coils, how good they are. Um, I think it was then a 0 0.7 ohm mesh. I think one of the best of Aspire coils. Um, yep, the Natalis GT. So those are the three, four, stroke four, um, start kit. Now there's one more that I reviewed, but I never uploaded it. This I have to give to, I reviewed it for somebody, he's gone abroad, so he asked me to use it while he's away and then I'll clean it. Uh, 
Anyhow, I've got naturally extracted tobacco. I can't remember which one it was. One of juice cabins. Very nice little kit. Um, I'm not sure if I'll upload the review on it because it's, it's long in a tooth now. I think it's been out for a while. Um, maybe I would. We'll see. But uh, anyway, this is a very nice. Now, this replaced the, e, t, uh, the E18E, the I Stop Smoking. Um, those that tank and the Spire Natalis Mini was my main um, tanks of the day. Like today is the is the Sputnik. Those days was the T18E. We're talking about over two years ago. And this squarely replaces the T18E and the same coil. This is the T18E coil in here. Um, yeah, with the three holes in them. Very reliable coils. If you ask me, what is better, this? or the T18 originally, that I haven't got here at the moment, the answer is the T18E original. Nothing can beat that tank. But as a pod kit, this is a very, very nice pod kit indeed. This is the Inokin M18. Right, we'll go next down to dual battery mod. And this can't go to anyone else besides uh, my EOS 2, the Ultrona, Bass Modus that I got as a gift, beautiful stab wood, touch screen. Uh, this hardly use, uh, I use the Sputnik on it all the time. Beautiful mod, very, very nice, happy with it. So when it comes to these kind of mods, there is quite a few dual battery mods out there. But I'm just telling you what I've got. I don't use so many dual batteries. Uh, because um, I'm mouse to long vapor mainly, but um, yeah, because I love this look. I love this mod very much. I use it all the time. And the next one goes to the Argus GT by Vupu. They came with the, with the, with this one here, with this tank. But I bought the mod. Um, it's just a stunning mod, um, dual battery, very comfortable to use. You can watch my review on it. This came to me as num this is as number two. I might have a few more coming up next year. Then we'll see then. But for this year, those these two. Now, when it comes to single battery, that is more my my daily vape. So I've got a bigger bigger list. So the paradox came one for the sheer looks. And ease of use. Um, you can watch my review on it. Um, very nice screen, DNA look like, and I tell you the truth, it operates perfect, just like a DNA, no different. I wouldn't tell the difference in the efficiency or and the accuracy of this chip, but it just looks stunning. Yeah, it's a bit now been using it, but you can watch my review. This comes to me as number one. Now the number, a very close number one that I didn't know which one to give what is the Foxy One mod by Orgvape. Beautiful, very extremely comfortable. The only thing, the screen is a bit small. I used my Pioneer on it mainly now. Uh, you can watch my review. This came as number two. This is superb comfortable, superb comfortable. Now, the th third, uh, second um, is the Spire Mix less comfortable than the two I just mentioned, but the sheer looks of it and uh, how versatile it is. You can change it to 18350, 18650. I just love this mod and it's especially good for bigger tanks. It's a side by side, um, Aspire and with Italian design. You can watch, uh, by, uh, you can watch my review on it. Um, yeah, the Sunbox, designed by Sunbox. Very, very nice mod. It, come to, it came here at number two. Number three is my Ihi. Um, Ihi SX Mini SL Class. I got it as a present. No battery in it at this moment. I, I, I want to buff it up. I might do a review how to do how to buff up your stab woods. We'll see. That's another thing I, I want to do. Um, this is a very accurate chip, very comfortable in your hand. This is with the stab wood. I got this as a present as well. 
Um, you got this, you can watch my review on it. It's got like a little handle here, like a little joystick. I love this mod. Um, the only thing is when you put a battery in it and a big tank is quite heavy, but I use it mainly in my office or home. Very nice mod, single battery. Uh, and then you come to my good old trusted Coroma R Anakin that the Prime is always on it. Um, now you've got a new type of from Inikin, the Z pod it comes with a similar screen. Um, very nice, reliable, functional, perfect little mod. Very nice. I'm very happy with it. You can watch my review on that one as well. And now we're coming for the Drag X with the adapter. So the adapter is not in the office, but you put you can watch my review you put an adapter and i love this single battery mod it's so compact it's so comfortable to hold <coughs> very nice chip it'll recognize the ohms of your coil and accordingly it'll adjust your wattage um, you can watch in depth all these on my channel but this came as number five See, I couldn't put narrow down to number to three because I've got a few of a few of these mods, um, so I had to um, I had to do that. Okay, I'm gonna try and go a bit faster now. Um, the best Quonk mod single battery. So I only got one, and this is the top side light. That I've got my Druga RTA um, RT on it. But this is used now as a mod, and this is the beauty. You can change it to a squonk. You just add the pin. You can watch my review on it. And this becomes a lovely squonk mod. Now, I've got two of the Vandy Vape Pulse 90 watts. Because I upgraded the software. It used to be 80 watts. Now you've got version 2. But I love this squonk mod. I've got two of these. So thi I don't need any more squonk mods. So this is my only squonk mod for this year a single battery uh, now best built-in battery mod well um, last year I had um, quite a few I think um, yeah I had the ambition mod easy side yeah I had um, the, the Sinuous P80 from Wismec, CB80 mod. So um, this year, I will tell you what I've got is the Gen Nano. Where is the Gen Nano? Here's the Gen Nano. This, in my opinion, is the most compact, advanced chip. The only problem is that it, the battery, you have to recharge it again and again. It, doesn't, it, last you, it lasts me a day on a mouse too long but i just love this this um this mod it's a very nice um built-in mod now i've got another one that i can't remember if i reviewed it i never reviewed this the tarot baby um from vapor so as well as this is a very nice tank uh, a mod i mean um yeah i i love this but i don't think i review it I reviewed it, but you can check online the Tarot Baby Vaporesso. Um, I can't remember even how many ohms is, uh, how many miles in here, but I use it all the time. You can when you see my reviews on my Natural Extracted, I use this mod. It's more or less the same size. Sorry about my plaster, my my nail still not healing. Uh, same size, even a bit smaller. This is a bit more elegant. This is a bit less elegant. There you go. Those are my single battery built-in mod. Most of them I got 18650. Um, Bez Pod all-in-one kit is I already mentioned it above uh, on the starter kits. So that's what it is. Um, yeah. So I'm not going to put too much time on best pod all-in-one kit i've got it here on my computer but i wrote in brackets same as starter kits now i'll pause you um one more time because now we're going to talk about um pre-made coils and that i want to bring to my desk so i'll make a bit of room and then i'll come back and we'll talk about it a bit more 
Right, so now we're going to talk about best mouse-to-long pre-made coils. So my main mouse-to-long coils, as of late, I do my own. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But mouse-to-long coils, I normally go by Nature Vape. Um, Nature Vape, from, this is a 1.16 ohm coil, and you've got a one point a one ohm coil uh, from Nature Vape, and you've got as well other, but I'll put it uh, put it um, over here. You got one ohm, one point sixteen, and one point seventeen ohm coil. Uh, top mouse to long coils. Can't fault them. They're they're beautifully made. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. They're done very professionally. They last you for quite a long time if you look after them, how to clean them. I uploaded a review how to clean the coils. They will last me, they last me to six weeks, constant use. So those are those. Um, also, I've got, lately, um, I bought from Watofo. It's a 0 0.9 Fuse Clapton. Um, very nice coil indeed. Um, the flavor is superb from this. So Fuse Clapton. I'll put the information below in the description. Um, it's a zero, it's a NI80 in a diameter three millimeter. So it's good for my Pioneer. It's good for for quite a few tanks of mine. Um, Mouse to long for the Artemis. It's good as well. Um, a 0 0.3 ohm uh, in a diameter, a 0 0.9, and I've got from them as well a 0 0.62. Yeah, a 0 0.62, and it's a 28 by 2 plus 38. That's the 0 0.62, and this is a 2 by 30 plus 38. Uh, the 0 0.9 i'm very happy with these coils as well and also you've got from hell vape uh dual core fuse clapton one ohm very nice coil as well and a mouse to long coil from coyology um this is a 0 0.6 this i don't use so much so i i, I am i'm putting them as you'll see in the below, it'll be like sort of Nature Vape number one, and then the Watofo, and then the rest. Now, as it comes to my own build um, wire, I, this is as well from Nature Vape, the Kento. Um, and this is a 26 gauge. Yeah, and I've got now, I bought from Coyology a mouse to long fuse Clapton. Um, yeah. And this is a uh, stainless steel. You can see the information on the box, on the wheel. I'm very happy with this coil. Um, I've got my uh, 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 prime and my light with that coil on it. Come out as a zero point. If you saw how I built the pin, uh, the Aerocon, it's, here it comes out as 0 0.53. I wanted it to be a 0 0.6, but it can, uh, sometimes the coils got minds of their own, and when it settles, it settles. Now, best uh, direct along coil um, is very similar to what I just said now, and similar to 2019. I also got from Nature Vape. Um, let's see what I've got here. If I've got here anything at all or not, um, I might have left it. Uh, here you got alien coils, a 0 0.32 from Nature Vape, top coil, very good coil indeed. Um, and I've got as well from Watofo um, a 0 0.33 frame staple Clapton, that's not here at the moment. And I've got a um, this pack over here that I'm going to go now to the next category, breast pre-made direct along coil pack. And in here you've got a huge variety of coils, all shapes and sizes. I'll turn around, you can see the writing on the bottom as well. Uh, I think this is a very 
recommended box to buy. It's a seven and we get 42 pieces in here for very reasonable price. I can't remember exactly, but if you go online and copy and paste from the description below and put it in Google, you'll, you'll find it. Now, best cotton. Um, so there is two. I, I'll leave you below in the description, the breast cotton. I have got cotton bacon prime. I've got cotton bacon, the regular, but I use uh, Japanese Muji. Um, and this is what I use. I review these. Yeah. I will put it in the description below exactly the way uh, you can put it in Amazon. So if you copy and paste, I've got a list of two there. Um, you can copy and paste and then you would find the, 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 the where to buy it it's so worth it um, you can even get it cheaper than amazon i mean it's such good quality easy to cut easy to use and cotton is one thing that you use most if you're rta mouse to long or rta rd or whatever you especially when it comes to tobaccos i change mine every single two days um, so I need a lot of cotton. I've got a few packets of those. I mean, in here I've got 180. Uh, and then the other one that I put below the name, I can't remember the name of hand. I think it's called uh, um, cotton, cotton Puff. Cotton Puff, I think. But anyway, you'll see it in the description below. And there you get 200 pieces. Less than 10 pounds. Perfect and change your cotton is very recommended so you keep your tobacco tip top so that is very recommended now i'm gonna have to pause here because the next one up will come to naturally extracted tobacco and there i want to spend a bit more time on it so for you will be a second let me get myself organized and we'll talk about naturally extracted tobacco next Right, so now we're going to go to the last section of this review, and this is the naturally extracted tobacco that uh, is my bread and butter on a daily basis. But before we go into that, I just want to mention that I realized that under the RTA director long, I forgot this to mention this the Druga RTA by Org Vape that is superb direct along RDRTA flavor is excellent the draw is a bit restricted but just perfect and never had a problem with leaking never had a problem with with a burnt flavor it wicks well it's, it's a very easy to live with top quality RTA direct along a bit sometimes a, a bit noisy i keep it on half closed i mean even if i open leave it on fully open um it's uh, still fairly restricted i wouldn't say restricted in a sense that you feel uncomfortable it's a perfect comfortable but not fully airy it's it's a perfect rta so this is number three for 2020 the Druga RTA I just mentioned because I realized I forgot to mention it right so now let's go to the last section of this review um, naturally extracted tobacco now naturally extracted tobacco is a few categories one is all day vape uh, that is normally by me mild a bit sweet um, and a perfectly balanced between the nuttiness sometimes so earthiness some smokiness light smokiness but something that i can vape for hours during the day and then you've got uh, a group of bolder spicier tobaccos that normally are from um, latikia blends perique um, more pipe tobacco and those uh that's the second category the third category is um more like a cigar you know um it's very w when you talk about the difference between pipe and cigar and cigar there's not normally any smokiness you know there's no latikia um you don't make 
a cigar from Latikia leaves. So you, you hardly get any smoke in a, in, a, in a cigar. When you smoke a real cigar, you get the smoke, yeah, but the smokiness, you know, the, uh, that you don't get in a cigar. So we'll, we'll go through, I've got a list here that I, I uh, put down for myself notes. So we'll go through it quickly. Right. Um, oh, and also there is UK based and there is Italian based of, as of late and the USA. Um, I'm sure there is other vendors who sell uh, excellent naturally extract tobacco. When I will try them, I'll review them. But as, as, as of today, as of this review, I've got a few and then we'll talk about them. So, um, my best UK mild and all day NETs. Um, um, well, first of all, the juice cabin. Juice cabin, there is a few. Um, the Juice Cabin Bright Leaf Sweet, um, the Bright Leaf Sweet, I'll just show them to you quickly in brief, those I've got here in, star in, in, my, in my office, um, Fire Cure 2017, um, where's that one, here we go, Fire Cure 2017, and the light fire cured that I, I reviewed just 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 lately, the light fire cured. And last and not least that I enjoy very much is the El Chapo. All these, in fact, I've got El Chapo now in my Sputnik, and these are my staple all day long from from Juice Cabin. Um, Drake's, the Drake's has got two categories. Drake's has got the Virginia and the Burley American blend and the mild Kentucky. So the Kentucky mild rather. Kentucky mild is very good and the American blend as well is stunning liquid. Um, those two I enjoy very much. I also vape on occasion the Virginia and the Burley from Drake's. Um, then they've got the tobacco fusion range, and that we'll talk a bit later on when we come down to the fruity entities. Um, then we've got um, Bright Leaf from Bessig Liquid and Black Boji. Now I've got here the Bright Leaf. Um, the bright leaf and the black boji is in a different office but bo bright leaf is more of a milder and the black boji is the same profile but a bit bolder um, so when i reviewed the black boji it was more categorized as a uh, marlboro red replacer and it's an excellent naturally extracted tobacco all credit due um, and then um, i've got from from the USA, um, do, uh, naturallyextractedtobacco.com, and they've got two very good all-day cigarette type of vape, and this is called N M NS Brown. I'm just looking for it. It should be here someplace. I especially looked for that. Uh, NS Dark. NS Dark. Yeah, from naturallyextractedtobacco.com. And I think the other one is called Big Spirit. Uh, have I got it here? Mm, not sure. Big Spirit. Yeah. Big Spirit. Now, these two are excellent all day naturally extracted tobacco, very similar profile to um, the juice cabin, but just a bit bolder um, because the heat extracted. Um, now, when you, if you order from naturallyextracttobacco.com, you should give yourself time because it takes them time to get it to you. They mix it on site per order. And as I think it's a couple who, who do it, so it takes them time, but eventually you get it. They're excellent. Uh, I'm not sure now with the postal service how it works with um, Tire Four with the, with a partial lockdown everywhere. So, but I'm talking about normal now in this time of the year they've got deals, 20% uh, off on naturallyextracttobacco.com. Okay, that's just for your information. 
Um, next we'll go to best bold and spicy NET. Well, those I vape normally in the mornings and evening whenever I crave a cigar. As if you follow my channel, you know my routine in, in vaping a bit. So the first one uh, is La Tabacaria that I discovered as of late. Um, and you can watch my reviews. So far I reviewed, I think, two of them. Um, and this is excellent naturally extracted tobacco, full bodied, very similar to the, the USA type of style. But I, I, I once mentioned that I think it was heat extracted. In fact, it's cold extraction. And for me, it's, um, um, it's, it's, it's amazing how they get it so bold and so full bodied and cold extraction. So must probably have got a method. But um, yeah, so first one goes La Tabacaria, then you've got Juice Cabin, La Tikia Fire Cure, that is excellent. Um, third, the, a few from naturallyextractedtobacco.com. Now, I, I will just say the names of them, but you're going to have to go online to see the full profile of them. Um, because I reviewed it right in the beginning when I started this channel uh, in my garden. <laughs> Yeah, but I've got a few here to show you. I mean, for instance, uh, the Chris Blend is delicious. Go on naturallyextracttobacco.com, put Chris Blend. I put it below as well. They can get the spelling right. And this is the Chris Blend. It's a mixture of various leaves. Delicious. Uh, Bombay. Bombay is a very bold and um, full-bodied tobacco and it is absolutely gorgeous but i don't know if i've got it here i do yeah bombay excellent excellent tobacco i can't give you the whole description it'll take too long so either you watch the review when i review it right in the beginning or you go on the website um yeah and to check the the not the flavor profile shakel bint uh that I've done a review not long ago um, in conjunction with another video to my friend Harry. Okay, you can watch that as well on my channel. And you got another one that is, in my opinion, one of the best, and that is called Oak Cask. This one here. This is something. This is um, in barrels, a whole procedure, how they do it. You must watch uh, this review, Ocas. I'm not sure if I reviewed it on my channel. Uh, maybe I did, I can't remember. It, 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 um, if I did, I'll leave a link. Hopefully I'll find it, I'll leave a link when I'm talking about it now, later on. If not, go on the website and have a look at the description. It's just superb. Um, I can't go through everything that I... Um, but you can check my channel, see if I reviewed any other. But I can't go through. Those are the main bold and spicy tobacco that I vape all the time and there's one more from Bessig Liquid the Latikia and Balkan Mix um, if you go on Easy Mix on uh, Bessig Liquid uh, you'll come to and it's a 100% naturally extracted tobacco range you'll come to Latikia and Balkan that is something special He, um, the smokiness the the spiciness, everything is so blended well. I mean, it's a lovely, bold, full-bodied, smoky and spicy tobacco. Lovely. Next one down is best naturally extracted Turkish tobacco. Um, and that has to go to Sunkure Turkish from naturallyextracttobacco.com. Um, have I got it here? Uh, let's have a look if I've got it. Yep, I've got it here. The Sunkure Turkish. They've got also a Turkish blend, but I think this is uh, a better, some cure Turkish. This is one of the best na um, Turkish tobaccos one can buy. So if you want to order it from the USA and you live in, in Europe, the best is to choose the biggest size bottle they've got and order a few. Um, and then just it stays, it can stay for years because uh, it takes time until you get it so it's worth ordering in bulk and now is a good time because they've got a discount 20 percent the shipping is the, the most expensive yeah one minute 
And there's another one from Juice Cabin, the Samsung Turkish. Now the Samsung Turkish, I haven't I haven't reviewed, I haven't uploaded the review yet, but hopefully um, it should be on the channel in the coming weeks. But as a very nice Turkish tobacco, pure Turkish, delicious, a bit less bold than the Sonkyo Turkish that I just mentioned, but it's super. All the UK uh, blends are, are, are a bit milder than the European and American. We'll go further down. I want to. Uh, it's going to take too long. I don't want to go too too slow. Best cigar NET obviously goes to La Tabacaria that I just reviewed. The mixture number two, and the ruins that is delicious. Um, also from NaturalExtractTobacco.com. Then you got the Caribbean Cream that I also reviewed. Um, have I got it here? Caribbean Cream. Bum 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 bum. I can see it in front of me. Oh, Caribbean cream, yeah. That is very nice as well. You can watch my review. All the what I mentioned now I reviewed, except for the Chris blend, I'm not hundred percent sure. And the um the oak the oak casks. Um and then you've got from uh, Juice Cabin from Bessic Liquid it's called Habana Anejo. And that is a lovely cigar liquid with added rum i mean it is very very nice indeed you can watch my review on that best non naturally extracted tobacco turkish um and that must go to one and only the yaelic um now this company i think they are from israel but they ship it from romania none of their tobaccos is naturally extracted i confirmed it with them but this is the best non-naturally extracted. When you vape uh, not naturally extracted, you get this false f taste of tobacco. Um, the smell is, is false. It's not tobacco. This hasn't got that false taste. This is a very delicious nat uh, non-naturally extracted Turkish. I ordered from them um, four or five. Of 100 mil because then it's worth it's a flat rate of 20 euros per shipment um, but they come up with great deals on various times of uh, festival times in the year that they give you a discount if you register on the on the website you will get the emails sometimes 20 percent off 30 percent off sometimes 40 percent off so it's very very reasonably priced and um they can last you for years it's worth buying in bulk um, yeah, Alec, very, very nice, non-naturally extracted. And then we go down to the best minty forward slash mental. So Drake's Payne's Peppermint is hands down best. I mean, it's not a menthol, it's a peppermint, but it's so delicious. And the, the, the um, tobacco is perfect, chosen for that peppermint. It's... I can't have enough of it. It's delicious. Um, the next one is Black Note Solo. Um, and I haven't got it here, but I vape it quite often. Uh, have I got it here? I don't think so. I think it's in the other office, but I couldn't bring all my liquids here. It's just too many bottles. And then, and the third one down is something very similar to Solo. I haven't uploaded the review. I reviewed it myself. I really recorded the review. But I haven't uploaded, that's the from Bessig Liquid, Menthol Tobacco. And this is very um, similar to the Solo. The advantage with this, that this is a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper than the Black Note. And shipment is much faster and it's very similar quality to the Solo. And that's a huge credit to Bessig Liquid that they got it perfect. Wait for my review. I'll re upload this not in, in a well, as soon as I can. And um, I th it's very recommended to all those who ex uh, menthol cig uh, cigarette smokers uh, or anyone who likes menthol tobacco. This is absolutely stunning. Right, the next one down is Best Coffee NET, and that goes again to Drake's from the tobacco uh, f uh, f um, fruit fru uh, tobacco fusion. The Celicos Coffee, that is absolutely stunning. And the next one down is Kennedy, 
Um, have I got it here? Kennedy, Kennedy. Yeah. Um, this is as well a delicious coffee, naturally extracted tobacco, a bit milder than the Drake's. But nevertheless, it is absolutely delicious. Next one down is best fruity any tea. Um, fruity any tea will go hands down to Drake's Tobacco Fusion again and his apple that is a uh, uh, most highly recommended naturally extracted tobacco with fruit. It's an apple so genuine. Uh, you, it's absolutely amazing. And another one is Morgan Maple. You can watch all my reviews on those in length. I'm just going through fast. Best caramel and vanilla NET forward slash RY4 has to go to Mecca RY4 from Juice Cabin. It is a, a, a stunner of a, of a liquid. Anyone who likes vanilla and caramel in their tobacco, this is very highly recommended. And another one they've got there is the wildfire that I review. I will I will review. Um, I reviewed it, but I haven't uploaded it. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few reviews outstanding, but I do have. I got it here. The wildfire um, it might be here. I'm not sure. My here we go. Wildfire that I will review. This is a delicious. Um, well, wait for review. It's a delicious tobacco with added a bit of vanilla. Um, it, it is very, very nice. It's a creamy note to it. You wait for the review, you, you'll hear all about it. Now, in Best Sig Liquid, uh, some people asked me for um, flavored NETs, but flavored tobacco rather with NET base. Uh, best Sig Liquid excel in, in that type of tobaccos and the best ones that I found was the 56 degrees North Red that you can watch my review on it and the Old Captain and the Black Fire. Those I enjoy most. The Black Fire is a very rich complex tobacco with nut, rum, chocolate. Um, very very nice indeed. Um, and. Um, well, the black fire is, yeah, and the old captain, no, sorry, the old captain is a chocolate, rum, and nut tobacco. I wrote with notes for me. You can watch my review on that. The black fire is a smoky and caramel and toffee. Uh, also very rich and complex. And the uh, 56 degrees north red is a mix of Cavendish, Kentucky, Burley, vanilla, and cherry. That is a very delicious naturally extracted tobacco. Now, obviously, there was some naturally extracted tobacco that I haven't mentioned. Oh, for instance, the cigar uh, from Black Note. Um, I didn't put this down. This is the Concerto, a very nice tobacco, but it's not really for those who smoke cigars. will say this is too mild. But maybe I'll put it down in the actual um, description, the cigar, because the, it's a lovely, lovely flavor. The Concerto from Black Note, the cigar blend. And I've got a review on this. You can watch my review. Yep, I don't think I forgot anything. But any, I've got on my channel um, various sections for, for natural extract tobacco. If I missed anything out, you could always watch my full review there and decide what's your preference. In regards of fruit and dessert liquids, there's no point me mentioning here because there's quite a few. On my channel, you can see the playlist as my delicious fruity vapes. And there I reviewed anything I like. I, you see, I bought quite a few of liquids that I don't like. I've got a box full of them with um, fruit and dessert liquids that I, uh, I just can't vape. And those I put aside. So anything that you actually review, is excellent and there's a few good reviews will come up on excellent um, tobacco and um, excellent fruit and dessert liquids that will be in January hopefully or February we'll see how it goes okay I think I came to the end of this review and I would like to wish you all a happy new year and uh, well 2020 wasn't an easy year with COVID-19 and the restrictions it was 
uh, difficult for people in business, health-wise, uh, mental-wise, people locked in. Um, it wasn't an easy year. So we hope that 2021 will bring us not only new vaping gear, but also prosperity, health, and a much more back to normal year. Um, we all crave already the human contact, the, the freedom of movement, and not to hear every day how many people are ill or dying. And so I, re really, I really hope that the coming year will be a year that God will have mercy and put an end to this. So hopefully the vaccine will put an end to it. Uh, there's a lot going on now with the Brexit um, and, and uh, COVID-19. So let's hope that the coming year will be a much more healthier and, uh, well, a, a good year for everybody in health, happiness and health, wealth and happiness. Okay. Thank you all for watching and I want to thank you all for um, all my subscribers and all those who view these uh, videos. Um, thanks to you, the channel is where it is today and I enjoy very much your comments. I learn a lot from your knowledge it's quite knowledgeable indeed. Um, I enjoy uh, interacting with other vapors in regards of the videos that I record. And I learn a lot from you guys. And uh, hopefully I'm helpful to you as well. And um, yeah, so with that note, I will leave it. Happy New Year to all. Enjoy your vape. Take care until the next review. Bye bye for now.